What's up all my keto friends? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we have an awesome dessert. Do you want an easy dessert for over the holidays without the guilt? Then you're going to wanna make these cookies. They are so delicious, so easy to make, and it just happens to be one of my favorite cookies. Today we are going to be making some keto macadamia nut cookies. So let's get straight into this video. Our ingredients for our cookie recipe, you're going to want some almond flour for our flour replacement. 1 4 teaspoon of baking powder, one large egg, some salt, some xanthan gum, half a teaspoon of baking soda. You're going to want one stick of butter softened. For our sugar replacement, we're going to use the Swerve sugar replacement in the brown one. Then you're going to want some vanilla, some maple extract. And for our chocolate chip replacement, usually I use the Lily's white chocolate chips, but I couldn't find them, they were out. So when I, I bought these at Walmart, these are a no sugar added white chocolate chip and they do have other flavors. I heard these were great and they are way cheaper than the Lily's chocolate chips. And then of course you're going to want some chopped macadamia nuts and you're going to want half a cup so I just bought a little bag. Now for our first step, you wanna get a small mixing bowl and to our mixing bowl, we're going to add one and one fourth cups of almond flour. One fourth cup and one cup. Next to your almond flour, you're going to add half a teaspoon of your baking soda and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Our last ingredient we're going to add to our mixture is half one teaspoon of our xanthan gum. You just wanna mix all the ingredients very well and break up any almond flour chunks with the whisk. And once you have everything mixed together, you're just going to simply set this aside and bring out a hand mixer and a bowl. Now in our second bowl, you're going to wanna add your one stick of softened butter. Now you do wanna soften just so it's easier to mix because if it's cold and hard, it will not get nice and creamy. So make sure it is softened and at room temperature. Next to your butter, we're going to add our Swerve brown sugar replacement. You're going to add 3 4 cup packed. So make sure it's nice and solid in there. You wanna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And just three drops of your maple extract. After you have all those ingredients in your bowl, you're just going to take a hand mixer or your stand mixer, whatever you have, and you're going to beat this until everything is nice, combined, and creamy. Okay, and when you're done, this is how it should look. It should be nice and smooth. You don't want any chunks of butter. Now we are going to add in our one large egg after everything is nice and smooth and creamy. And you're going to beat this on low until the egg is well combined. After your egg is well combined, you're going to bring back your almond flour mixture. You're going to add in a little bit at a time, then take your hand mixer and mix it in well, and then add some more. You do wanna make sure you are mixing it on low. You don't want it on high. And your batter should look something like this. Now you wanna take your dough and to our cookie dough, we're going to add one cup of our white chocolate chip replacement. And then you're going to add in half a cup of chopped macadamia nuts. And you're going to gently fold everything into your cookie dough.
Once you have your chocolate chips and your nuts folded into your cookie dough, we're going to pop this in the fridge to chill. Set your timer for 30 minutes to chill in the fridge. After your cookie dough has chilled in the fridge for 30 minutes, you wanna get a cookie scooper, a baking sheet with a lined piece of parchment paper, or if you just have a nonstick baking sheet, that will do. And we're just going to start scooping our cookie dough onto our baking sheet. You just wanna leave them in the balls like this and they will spread out as we bake them. You do wanna make sure you have about an inch to an inch and a half spread apart. So when they spread out, they do not stick together. And you might not be able to fit all your cookie dough onto one baking sheet, so you can do this in separate sections. Just put your cookie dough back in the fridge while these bake. Now we're going to pop these in the oven to bake. Go ahead and pop your cookies into your oven. You're setting your oven at 350 degrees and you're gonna bake these for about seven to nine minutes until golden brown and lightly set. After about nine minutes, this is the way your cookies should look. They should look golden brown around the edges. Now you wanna let them completely cool off on the counter for about 15 minutes before you move them. And when they are done cooling off, you're gonna have yourself some delicious keto macadamia nut cookies. Question of the day, what was your family's favorite holiday cookie? Comment down below. All right guys, so that was today's video of our keto macadamia nut cookies. I hope y'all enjoy this awesome, easy dessert recipe over the holidays. If y'all give them a try, come back to this video, comment down below how y'all enjoyed them. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes and I will see y'all in my next video.